Welcome to the Elite Training video. In this video we will illustrate how to configure your game controllers. After launching the Elite software, simply go to the configuration screen by right clicking on the instrument panel and select configuration. Next, press the computer set button, the third one down. Then the game controller change. This window illustrates that you have two connected joystick devices. One will be the pedals and the other one will be the yoke. When we select and configure this one, being that it only has three axes, that tells me that these are the pedals, not the yoke. Let's go ahead and unselect this one. We're going to select number two, press select on our main flight controls, and configure them. Now we have five axes, aileron, elevator, throttle, and the RX and RY are selected as none. Let's go ahead and test this. Side to side tells me it's the aileron. In and out would tell me it's the elevator. Now moving the black lever will actually tell me that it's the throttle. So let's go ahead and move that back and forth, confirming that it is actually the throttle. The blue lever, RX axis, we have to program that as a prop. So we'll go ahead and select prop RPM. The next lever is going to be the red one. That's the R Y axis. So we'll go ahead and drop down the menu for mixture. Now to program the button. Simply press the desired button on your game controller and drop down the desired function. In this case, we'll make that gear down. Press another button and drop it down again. In this case, we'll make the next one trim up, and so on. You should repeat this step over and over until you have all your desired buttons programmed. Okay, remember, first step, physically press the button on your yoke or flight stick. In the second step, drop down the list and the functions list and select the desired function you would like that button to do. For example, we'll go ahead and program the coolie hat. Here I've pressed the left arrow. I'm going to make that view left. I'll go ahead and press right arrow. I'll go ahead and do this one view right. Now that everything's programmed, let's go ahead and press OK. Next step, the rudder pedals. So select Center Flight Sim Yoke 1, press the Select button under the rudder section. Then you're going to press Yes on this next box. X axis by default should be left brake. So drop down the box and confirm by tipping that left brake. The next axis, Y axis, is going to be the right brake. Confirm it by just simply activating the right brake on your rudder pedals. And last is going to be the rudder. So let's go ahead and slide those pedals and confirm that is rudder axis. In this case, the RX axis. Drop down the box and call that rudder. Press OK and we are done. Restart. And that's it. Thank you for watching.